Green Day is one of the most iconic punk bands of all time. Green Day! Starting fights, instigating a coup on live TV. You can't just do that. Causing a riot in the streets of Boston. For a while, Boston was actually shut down. And vandalizing tower records is business as usual for Green Day. And being their drummer is no easy feat. How about that guy? This is the impossible job of Green Day's drummer. So wanna be an American idiot. Trey Cool is Green Day's legendary drummer, but he's also a clown. No, literally. Did you know that Trey Cool went to circus camp? Well, it's true. And over 30 years later, Trey still has some sick skills. Trey might have sick skills, but he's not the only drummer who could be a clown. And if you want to be Green Day's drummer, you need to put those clown skills on full display every time you appear on David Letterman. And there's something wrong with their drummer. That's all you need to know. This guy is a total clown for sure, but what happens when clowning around goes too far? Like the time that they started a riot that overtook Boston. It was a violent scene on the Esplanade tonight when a free punk rock concert really got out of control. For a while, Boston was actually shut down Longfellow Bridge and Mass Ave. The Esplanade is littered with the aftermath of a small riot here tonight. Or the time that they trashed legendary tower records and Trey threw his kit into the crowd. You don't hold it a punk show with thousands of kids in it at a record store. Unless you're a genius. Or the time they staged a coup on live television? What's up, Rachel Geeks? No. Yeah! You can't just do that. <laughs> do you mind? Can't do that. Can't do that. And who can forget Mudstock 94? Man, the craziest thing I've ever done on stage is throw a donut into the crowd or land a bunch of sick bottle flips. I guess if you want this impossible job, you not only have to deal with insanity, but you have to be the craziest member of the band yourself. Trey Cool plays the drums in Green Day and he snorts donut sprinkles. So that begs the question, who is Trey Cool really? Trey Cool. <laughs> Uh, known also as Frank Evan Wright III, was born in uh, Frankfurt, Germany. Old ladies used to come up and, oh, look at this beautiful baby girl. And he would kick them. But his life would take a total turn when he was handpicked to be a punk drummer, even though he had never touched a kit in his entire life. Yep, Trey Cool was recruited as a drummer simply because of his weird look. They have this really young drummer, and he was back and he was wearing a old lady shower cap and a tutu. And... <laughs> So that's the first time I, I saw Trey and I was like, oh cool. Luckily enough, he was so drawn to drumming that he never looked back and even dropped out of high school to pursue his new dream. I understood it right away and, and so did his mother that uh, he was gonna make music a career, he had to leave this little town. Trey was just such a great drummer and, and so perfectly fit with those guys. Like a glove. <laughs> Would you drop out of school just to try to play in a band? I don't know if I could do it. Unless we're talking about college. In that case, I definitely did it. But it all paid off because over 30 years later, Trey received music's highest honor. Getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a huge deal, but have you heard of the exclusive First Ballot Inductees Club? It is one of the greatest achievements in the music world, and it is reserved for artists who become Hall of Famers the second they become eligible. In 2015, Green Day joined this shortlist along with legendary artists like Elvis, The Who, and Led Zeppelin. That means that Trey Cool sits amongst drum icons like John Bonham and Keith Moon. See, Mom? Clowns can make it after all. Told you. We were playing punk clubs, squats, backyard parties, sleeping on floors, couches, wherever we could. I didn't think back then that we'd be here now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But did you know they almost didn't make it to the Hall of Fame? You might not believe it now, but before the release of their iconic album, American Idiot, the band was ready to break up. 
Billy called me at one point and was like, do you even want to do this anymore? Not only was their 2000 album Warning received poorly, but the demo tapes for their 2002 album Cigarettes and Valentines were completely lost. On the cusp of failure, the band tried something incredibly radical, writing and producing the political rock opera that would become American Idiot. Started getting into talking about you know, the, the rock opera thing, which we really wanted to sort of tie it into you know, that political atmosphere of so, uh, what's going on right now. So I think it's something that just sort of uh, unfolded just the more we got inspired. This daring album went to sell 16 million copies, won the Grammy for Rock Album of the Year, and went six times platinum. So not only did they bounce back from the edge of defeat by writing one of the most influential punk records of all time, but it went on to be a Broadway musical? That sounds pretty impossible to me. And things are about to get more impossible because coming up, we're gonna unpack the time that Trey climbed on top of the world and some of the band's nudist tendencies. But first, let's talk about the three keys that make Trey such an incredible punk drummer. Key number one is his lightning fast hi-hat beats, but he just plays them with one hand, which gives his beats a really cool specific style that you can hear in songs like this. If you want to learn how to play Green Day songs note for note so you can see exactly what Trey is doing, then you've got to check out this new tool we released on DBO Academy. Here you can get the note for note transcriptions for Green Day songs and a ton of others where you can just hear what the drums are doing, you can slow the song down, you can loop sections so that you can really master all of your favorite songs. If you want to get instant access to this tool plus many more features to take your drumming to the next level fast, then click right here to get 15 days free to my online online drum school, DBO Academy. Trust me, you're gonna love it. But Trey's superpowers don't just lie in his skills, they also lie in his sound. Because Trey has such a powerful snare sound in the studio, and his snare sound alone brings so much energy to songs like these. And Trey's third key is his iconic tom beats. You see, so many drummers are always playing on the hi-hat or the cymbals, but Trey has really developed a unique style with really, really cool sounding beats, utilizing mostly the toms, which you can hear in songs like these. As difficult as it is to keep a beat, keeping up with this band's personalities is sometimes just as hard. For most people, trying to work with Billy Joe Armstrong might send them to the ER. For example, you'd have to be willing to see a lot of his butt. Seriously. Billy Joe Armstrong is now infamous for finding excuses to go nude. One time he stripped down at Madison Square Garden and another time in Milwaukee, which ended up getting him charged by the cops. Drummer Trey Cool on the phone the day after the show blamed it all on cops being angry that Green Day wouldn't let them hang out backstage. And the antics get even hotter, literally. To hang with them, you have to be ready for some truly painful pranks, like the time Billy Joe branded fellow musician Chris Cote. Four, three, two, one! But that's not a problem for someone like Trey. In fact, he fits right in. Because if there's one person who can out crazy the guys of Green Day, it is their drummer, Trey Cool. Some drummers like to play with fire, but maybe in a more responsible way. But then there's Trey, who routinely destroys and torches his entire kit. hurts my heart to see those kits in flames. And in 1998, Green Day was also on fire. And to celebrate topping the charts, Trey decided to climb to the top of the globe. That's cutting them got, off, of course. He's got something to do. The fans going nuts. Uh, <clears throat> John? I guess Trey was having a good night that night and felt like he was on top of the world. Being 
being Green Day's drummer doesn't always mean that you're wild and destructive. This impossible job means you have to fiercely love and protect your loyal fans. And sometimes even literally, because one time Billy Joe protected a fan in the crowd by beating up a bully. What's clear, you little mohawk mother Come here, you wanna come here and fight? I'll fight you right now. Come on, get up on the stage. Man, I wish I had Billy to protect me when I was in middle school, because as you might imagine, I wasn't into the coolest things. <laughs> but Green Day doesn't just support their fans in a fight, they also support them on stage. The guys are well known for bringing up fans to play with them during shows. And one time they even built a fan band, drums, bass, and all. This has never been done in Giants Stadium ever in history. You play drums? Eight years. Because of him? Okay, get your ass up on this stage. What you gonna do with your shout, girl? You better make up your that's right, to be Green Day's drummer, you not just have to hold on to your sticks, but you also have to be able to give them away. Now, even amidst all the chaos in the past couple of years, Green Day has kept their momentum going. They've performed in one of the largest post-COVID tours called the Hella Mega Tour, and they're also working on a new album and have been their usual goofy selves. That's pretty impressive for a group of dudes who inspired young rock stars like Billie Eilish and Matt Healy from the 1975 and me. Growing up, there was no band more important to me or my brother. But Trey, how does it feel to, to be these these elder statesmen of rock and these bands just talking about you with such influence? Yeah, we, we've thrown our seed all around the world, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be kids. <laughs> Green Day songs are awesome, and if you want to learn how to play them for yourself or some of your other favorite songs, make sure to start your 15-day free trial to DBO Academy right up here to take your drumming to the next level fast. And if you think Green Day's drummer is crazy, you need to see the impossible job of Avenged Sevenfold's drummer right here.